All right, so ladies and gentlemen, we had ourselves a big release from Jordan Brand today in these White Thunder 4s, which we saw drop nationwide, full family sizing. Of course, we had adult pairs start at 215 bucks, which the price of Jordans here in 2024 is getting a little steep. And of course, we already know we can't expect to see increases come next year. But that's, of course, not what this video is about. Now, as far as this model overall, the silhouette here, the Jordan 4, definitely one of the more popular Jordan models, I would say, is definitely risen in popularity it's always been a classic like for me though as a kid i would say the jordan 11s was what kind of like drew me into jordan models so i'm like one of them kids like jordan 11s and up but as they started to drop retro releases as i got a little bit older i would say the appeal here of this jordan 4 model would definitely have to be like the lower mid type of cut now as far as this year like if you're a jordan fan like you've definitely been eating as far as jordan 4s we had the bread 4s drop which uh dropped with the reimagined theme around them which i would say as far as like just interest general interest in a sneaker from not only like diehard sneaker fans but just from like your casual person this was a very popular release like just so many people were excited about this pair it kind of reminds me of like the old uh holiday jordan 11 releases like it was that popular of a release definitely the most popular release like just as far as interest overall you know of this entire year now we also saw them bring back classics such as the military blue fours some other solid releases like let's say those pine green fours or even those wet cement fours which did drive recently if you're a fan of the jordan four you definitely ate this year and then of course now we have these white thunder fours which as far as this release i would say these joints are solid like color blocking it takes you back to the um Thunder Fours, which I want to say dropped back in 2006. That was an important year for me because that was actually the first year which I did cop the Military Blue Fours which dropped back then. I remember I was like working at Champ Sports at the time and uh, those were only retailing at a buck 15, believe it or not. I kind of always say that all the time, but I just feel like it's just an important thing to mention. Now, as far as uh, Jordan brand releases, so this pair right here, to get back on subject, my bad, y'all. These Jordan Fours, right? Color blocking takes you back to the thunder four so good color blocking now as far as the actual colors white and black i mean you got the black primary color you know with the little hits of white but then again of course nowadays anything that's black and white from nike the tiktoker kids they just call them joints panda so color blocking is cool or whatever um color choice cool as well now as far as like the quality i would say probably meh but then again, I don't think anybody's really copying Jordan brand releases like for quality. Although if a pair does happen to have like a little more elevated quality, it could like elevate a particular release. But then again, I don't think anybody's really like copying Jordan releases for like, let's say quality. But as I say, quality, probably not the greatest as far as this release. So joints did drop this morning, solid pair. And we did see these pretty much sell out everywhere online. Um, I would say though, like, let's say if you did walk into your local retailer, you may see still see like a couple of sizes still available but i would say as far as overall online you got to sell out across the board but then of course in person i'm sure you still would be able to grab these joints right here and i feel like in my opinion nike is definitely tapped into this whole resale narrative nowadays as far as your general sneakerhead i would say that you know everybody's gonna act like you know they don't care about resale and all that good stuff and they're happy to get sneakers for under retail but let's not forget that you know people still do enjoy to have their shoes holding a little bit of resale value not in order to like let's say resell them but let's just say like more so to uh say that your sneakers hold value let's say later down the line you may want to like flip those joints uh you know in order to grab a new pair or something like that so i would say the sweet spot for sneakerheads here in 2024 especially for people that are into jordan brand is for their shoes to like float right above retail but not go under retail um, if you guys know what I'm saying as far as on the secondary market. So with that being said, I think Nike paid very close attention to stock allocation via their online retailers. I feel like as far as the sneakers app drive, they can manipulate that easily. And you may think I'm kind of like getting to more like conspiracy theory zone with like the tinfoil hat and all that. But just at, look, look, we'll look down the line and we'll see if these joints do restock. You know, which I'm imagining we'll probably see them restock like on various retailers as well as probably even via Nike. Then that will prove my theory. Right. Or if I'm wrong, you know, I'm wrong. But it's just my kind of thoughts on the whole release. I think Nike's definitely paying close attention to that whole resale narrative and they want to make sure that these joints definitely uh, hold their value. So overall, as far as this drop goes, I think it was definitely a success for Nike. 
Um, I think this pair was solid. So salute to anybody that was able to uh, successfully grab these joints and comment down below if you did pick these up or if you're feeling them or not. Jordan 4 White Thunder. Now in other news, of course, today we have a big release from J Tips to look forward to. And uh, yesterday we took a little glimpse at the in-store release, which went down in NYC at Billionaire Boys Club, which as far as that drop goes, things got a little bit hectic, but you know, overall, I would say it was definitely a success as uh, we have a little clip here of uh, how things actually looked in the store. Now, as far as this release, of course, we got the big release, which is going down today via J Tips' own very website, which he did just give us the announcement that we can look forward to the Saucony My To Do List collection, which will be dropping at 3 p.m. Eastern. So by the time you're watching this, you should already know if you took a W or an L on one of the more recent uh, hyped up sneaker releases here in the world of shoes. So as far as this drop goes, like for me personally, I would say if uh, this complex drop, which we actually had a little shock drop from complex um, which happened to drop a select amount of these pairs earlier if this drop is any indication of what to expect from the j tips website drop i think i'm just gonna maybe sit this one out you know while i'm a big fan of everything that this sneaker represents it's even a great looking shoe in itself which is the reason i actually want to cop these just due to the hype and everything like that and just the overall chaos I think I'm gonna just save myself the heartache and the stress and everything and just sit this release out. But salute to everybody that, you know, was able to grab these joints right here. And just overall, I think this is just a dope moment for sneakers because this dude, Jay Tips right here, feels like he came out of nowhere, but he's definitely been putting in that work. So like a real grassroots upbringing type of story, in my opinion, just like an organic, you know, come up here in the world of sneakers. So on top of dropping some great shoes, um, this is a brother that I'm looking forward to uh, like see you know what he has in store for us here in the future and on top of the shoes looking great he did it with a brand in Saucony which you know has a little bit of a history but I would say like has not been talked about at all you know here in like the sneaker conversation or at least like our world of sneakers or whatever so salute to that brother uh great release huge success on that great shoe and I think these will definitely be in people's conversation you know come the end of the year for that sneaker of the year talking all that good stuff so salute guys let me know if any of you guys had success on that drop or if you just feel like them joints are trash and you don't know what the hype is all about so we're gonna wrap things up here I just wanted to check in with you guys here on this wonderful Saturday appreciate everybody for tuning in I'll check in with you guys here soon in the meantime stay safe stay blessed I'm J.A. and I'll catch you guys next time I'm out love